Hi, I'm here to answer the questions. What is chametz and how do we get rid of it? Well, chametz, chametz, this is chametz. Chametz is anything that can be produced in a puffy way by the five grains, wheat, barley, oats, spelt and rye. And they become chametz and chametz at this time of year is our deadly enemy and we have to conquer it. We have to fight against chametz. Really? I'm not sure, but it seems to be that the Torah tells us that during the seven or eight days of Passover, chametz is so forbidden that we can't take any benefit from it. It can't be seen anywhere in our homes. We can't even own it. So we sell it, we burn it, we destroy it, we clean it. Chametz. But there's something that has to be involved in a spiritual way, in an emotional way, as well as a physical way. It can't just be about bagels and bread, can it? So some of the commentators say that chametz is actually our own ego. Chametz is the part of ourselves that gets so puffed up when we believe in ourselves too much. It's our pride. Some sources even say it's the Yetzahara. It's the evil inclination that is trying to lean us over towards the side that wants to do less than good things in the world, bad things in the world. Do you know what matzah is? What can matzah be made out of? The same five grains that chametz can be out of. Wheat, barley, oats, spelt and rye. The same raw ingredients, but it's our choice whether we bring chametz into the world or whether we bring matzah into the world. And by the time we do all of this work, we clean out our cupboards, we burn away the chametz with blow torches, we search for it with candles, we do this whole process, but really we search on the inside and we look for those ways in which we've been in the past year where we've been so puffed up and full of ourselves, believing in ourselves too much, and, and through believing in ourselves too much, not seeing the people around us. We really do that work as we prepare for Pesach, as we prepare for Passover, when we sit on the first night at the Seder table, when we eat that first mouthful of matzah for the first time, it's as if we become the matzah. We've got rid of the chametz, so we become the matzah. What does it mean to become the matzah? It means that we become ourselves in our purest form. Without all of the baggage and the puffiness and the pride of the chametz, we become ourselves our true selves, simple, humble, and ready to take on the world and ready to be who we need to be in order to bring freedom and redemption to this world. So I wish everybody good luck with the battle against Hamates outside and inside. And I wish us all a joyful, liberating, redeemed Passover. Chag Sameach.